Hello everyone, I'm George from Ireland and here I am at Runnymede in England. This meadow beside the River Thames, you can't quite see it, but it's beyond those trees near the side of the road is the Thames. Anyway, on these meads on the 15th day of June um, in uh, 1215, um, King John, at the instance of the deputies from the entire community of the realm, granted a great charter. Um, uh, the earliest constitutional documents where under ancient and cherished customs were confirmed, abuses were addressed, the administration of justice facilitated, new provisions formulated for the preservation of peace and every individually perpetually secured in the free enjoyment of his property. Um, so this was privately owned for centuries after this. Apparently it had been a well-known meeting place um, long before Magna Carta was laid out. So bad King John, as he's known, uh, inherited the um, crown in, the, uh, in 1199 upon the decease of his brother, Richard Cœur de Lyon. Um, who had been battling in, in, in um, uh, the Crusades against the Saracens, had been uh, not, not managed to take um, Jerusalem the Golden, had offended um, Leopold, the Duke of Austria, and on his way passing back through Austria, where he had been um, taken hostage by Leopold and held there by the Habsburgs, who were not so mighty at the time. He had slighted them earlier. Don't want to go into Richard too much. A king's ransom paid for his release. So then John took over and the disastrous 10 years of Richard I's rule then fell on his brother who had to try and deal with the economic fallout. Um, so high taxation, um, charging scootage as in shield money in lieu of military service, not allowing people to inherit their property until they paid a ruinous tax and so forth. Um, taking the sons of barons hostages and things like that, all sorts of supposed abuses, falling out with the Catholic Church, just like his father, Henry II. <clears throat> over investiture contests, who would be bishop and archbishop here and there, and in the meantime, as, as John was mulling over whom he advised the, the Pope to appoint as bishop, all the revenues from that diocese are archdiocese flowing into royal coffers, fighting against the French, losing to Philip Augustus, um, losing Normandy and so on. He formed an alliance with um, uh, Otto, the um, emperor of the Holy Roman Emperor Empire, who was defeated in the Battle of Bouvine. So, um, really um, losing his grip. Um, and there's, uh, so there was an interdict, the Catholic Church, the only type of Christianity permitted in this kingdom at the time, said we're going to close all churches and people were very worried that they were going to damnation because they needed their seven sacraments and so forth. Um, so there was a huge baronial rebellion. Eventually the king, king had treated rapprochement with the, with the papacy and more or less had to bow down, agree to what the um, Bishop of Rome wanted and then the Catholic Church was up again so Stephen Langton was the Archbishop of Canterbury and to try and reduce bloodshed he persuaded the two sides to meet here to Parley. So um, the, uh, the um, barons are approaching the from Staines, this way is Egham and just over the river that way is Staines, about three miles away. The king approached from, from Windsor Castle which is in that direction, up this route road is Old Windsor and beyond that is the town of Windsor with Windsor Castle which is a huge castle dominating the Thames Valley, and they met here, further up this, this ancient meadow. Um, and they, they'd agreed the things in advance, but they were actually signed on that particular day. So um, this land was later privately owned, and it was um, owned by um, Urban Hanlon Broughton, Lord Fairhaven, um, who was a local worthy, born in 1857, member of parliament for the constituency. He died in 1929. So he lived at Park Close, Englefield Green, just a couple of miles from here. Um, we're in the county of Surrey. So um, then after his death, on the 18th of December 1929, didn't die on that date, but on that particular date, his widow, who was um, Lady Fairhaven, um, Cara, and his two uh, surviving sons, um, Lord Huttleston Fairhaven, and his younger son, the Honourable Henry Broughton, they donated this to the nation. It's now owned by the National Trust. I'm not sure what these two little cottages are in aid of. I've seen in the window, you probably can't make out because the light isn't that good, but there's nothing in there. It's like a bare floor, no carpet, nothing on the walls, no furniture. Would it be not good to have somebody living in them? And it's got its twin over there. So it's, it's um, uh, symmetrical here. Anyway, um, so I, I filmed uh, around here before, gone closer to what was thought to be the actual spot where Magna Carta was signed. It means the Great Charter. Notice you must never say the 
Magna Carta, because of course in Latin the um, definite article is contained in the words, and many commemorations have been held here, most notably four years ago when Her Britannic Majesty came here to commemorate it, which of course was not such good news for her ancestors since they had to cede some of their power. But little of, the, of Magna Carta was normal, there you go. Um, simply restating what was there, and um, only three of its three and sixty clauses still extant. There's Magna Carta Hiberniae was passed the, the following year, which is extending all this to Ireland. The Archbishop of Dublin was one of the people who signed it. So there was a, a committee of 25 barons which was to superintend the monarch and ensure that he um, abided by his promises, but he reneged on them as soon as he could wriggle out of them, claiming they were extracted under duress and therefore um, were completely invalid. And um, the uh, papacy completely took his side. However, he was all washed up the next year. He died in the wash. Was it from eating a surfeit of lampreys or perhaps crab apples? Trying to take a shortcut in um, Norfolk, or was it Lincolnshire across the wash? and his treasure being stuck there. So that is the end of King John, bad King John, as um, he's commonly uh, called. He'd been born at Beaumont Palace in Oxford, along with his um, elder brother, Richard the Lionheart, which no longer stands, which is where Beaumont Street in Oxford now is. So some of the foundation stones of the buildings I saw there will have been part of that former Beaumont Palace. That's enough for me. So thank you so much for donations. I urgently need donations to maintain this channel. So please donate on PayPal, georgecallahan79 at gmail.com. Um, on PayPal, that's C-A-L-L-A-G-H-A-N for Callahan, all small letters. Right, toodaloo.